All right, in this video, um, I want to talk about how easily people are manipulated. Okay, I just want to sort of do a brief thing here. I don't want to get into too much detail, but there's a whole bunch of different ways that people are manipulated. And I have a um, definition here. This is from a military DOD dictionary. It says, deception, those measures designed to mislead an, the enemy by manipulation, distortion, or falsification of evidence to induce him to react in a manner prejudicial to his interests. Okay, this is also what politicians do. I have here Field Manual 3, Tech 13.4, Army Support to Military Deception. This is approved for public release. Um, this is about hypnosis and the various um, ways that hypnosis can be used to manipulate people. Now, this uh, Milton H. Erickson, he used hypnosis or what he called putting people into a trance to help them achieve um, a higher level of themselves, achieve goals and stuff. Games People Play by Eric Byrne, also a um, medical doctor. He talks about the various games people play with each other to get what they want. Um, this is a really interesting book. Uh, he goes into transactional analysis and he talks about um, part in part two, a thesaurus of games and the things that they do, you can get this book off Amazon cheap, like $3, $4. Well, used to be anyway. Um, I'm not sure if this is still under copyright, but Uncommon Therapy, I also got this off Amazon. Uh, Arthur Schopenhauer, really good stuff in this book. It's about how people view the world and how they see the world through their own eyes. And really interesting book to read on learning about other people which is paramount to understanding yourself and how not to be manipulated so i put this in here maxims of law this is um kind of does and kind of doesn't fit um if you stick to the maxims and if you really understand them it's hard for people to use ignorance against you because you know a lot of stuff. You know a lot of um, truths. This is As a Man Thinketh, James Allen, having to do with how you think and how you think about things and how you talk to yourself. This is Lawyers and Judges in Collusion, the Fraternity. This is uh, group manipulation, okay? How they use um, their brotherhoods, their groups to manipulate people, basically. Okay, God's Secret Formula, Deciphering the Riddle of the Universe and Prime Number Code. See, I like this because it's more matter of fact and it's um, antagonist to religious manipulation. So if you know truth, it's like I said, it's really hard for people to manipulate you. And if they can't manipulate the you, then what's the point of them continuing to try to manipulate you? If you're smart and you know what someone's doing when they try to do it, then it's not going to happen for them. They're just going to be barking up the wrong tree. This is constitutional law as fiction. So using fiction to manipulate, using, using fictions and stories to manipulate you into believing something that may be true or may not be true. Okay, so... How do I get you to see things my way? I use metaphors and I use stories. I may use uh, hypnosis. I may use my experience against you and I may get to know you and use your experiences against you to get you to do what I want. That's the whole point of manipulation or deceitful practices is to get you to do what I want you to do. Okay, Rockefeller Medicine Men. So Rockefeller uh, opened up a medical trust and he hired Gates, who is related to Rockefeller and the, the current Gates, Bill Gates. So his um, cousin, 
dates way back in the 19th century or the 1900s, early 1900s, late 1800s was related to Gates. Gates is, um, I don't know, cousin or uncle or something. They worked together to take over basically the, the medical industry. And this is another type of manipulation because they used money to get universities to um, put labs in and then they paid them to do the certain research that they wanted done and then they paid them to require doctors to get a license and then they would say it's because of this but really it was because they they was deriving income from it so it's uh not unlike what gates is doing today he's saying well it's philanthropy you know we have these vaccines because um we want a healthy world but really gates is maybe selling them and getting some money for it. Okay, so this is all in Rockefeller Medicine and how they use medicine to manip manipulate people. The laws of human nature is really good. It helps you understand people. If you understand people, it's very difficult for you to be manipulated by them. Uh, this is a book that I bought years ago on hypnosis and um, Suggestions and metaphors, using suggestions and metaphors to manipulate people, to manipulate their minds. Um, I'm a certified hypnotist, or at least I was. I haven't updated my certification in quite a long time. I just basically found it useless. But um, it's an interesting thing to study, and it's a, an interesting thing to know about. And it's interesting even more so that when you go and you read books or you go into schools and you see how teachers are teaching or you listen to the um, politicians and how they talk and the rhythm of their talking and the way they say things is um, very manipulative. It's a practice that they use to sort of lull people because you can easily lull people into um, a state of relaxation in which their brain waves start to slow down and they're easily um, given suggestions on what they need to do, and then they, they do them. So there's a whole bunch of ways that people are manipulated, and it's not that hard to do. Politicians have a whole list of ways to manipulate people. The military has a list of ways to manipulate people. Uh, various groups. It could be corporations who want you to buy their products. It could be, um, you know, real estate agents, brotherhoods, like I showed you the fraternity, the, the lawyers. They want to manipulate you into believing that you come under all the laws because lawyers make money when you have to hire them to get out of trouble that you never should have been in because it didn't apply to you anyway, but you don't know that because you've been manipulated. Uh, so all kinds of groups use manipulation. Individuals use manipulation against each other. There's various tactics. They use emotions, you know, giving love, withdrawing love, um, making you feel afraid, making you feel um, like an urgency, making you feel the world's gonna end if you don't support their cause. Um, money is a form of manipulation, withholding money, giving you money when you behave giving you money or food when you're poor and then you support them because now they're your sugar daddy and you have to support your sugar daddy if you want them to keep buying you things and paying for your, your rent or car or whatever. The want of power, um, so government itself in a way is a type of manipulation because they increase its power and then the more power it has, the more people who want power want it and they want to be in those powerful positions so the more powerful government becomes the more people want to be involved in it okay which then expands government and then as government expands it becomes more powerful the more powerful it becomes more people want to be a part of it and want to be a part in in those um, high positions so that they can get what they want because um, you can if you have power you can get what you want from people People use games to manipulate each other and they say, yeah, sure, I'll do that and you do this and then when it comes time, I'm not gonna do that but I've already got something from you so, or I'm gonna tell you what you wanna hear to get what I want and then I'm gonna lie about you know, what was said later. 
contracts are a type of game. They write things in contracts that don't say what you think it says because you thought of the word in an intuitive way, you know, just prima facie on its face and really it meant some legal term because it was a legal contract and you were thinking it was more, you know, kosher between the two of you. Television manipulates us and our ideas and how we see the world. So does radio, music, pictures. Um, pictures can be used to manipulate people. Like you see um, poor children or something that looks like somebody's getting ready to hurt somebody, but really they're running to save them. And they say, look at this guy. He's getting ready to kill this other guy. And they just show you the picture. And But if you saw the video of it or a series of pictures, you would say he was running over there to help the man or whatever. So pictures are often used to manipulate. Hypnosis, um, something that I've personally used and experienced uh, is used to manipulate the mind, uh, either for better or worse. It can go either way. Metaphors are, are um, really, really good tools to use to manipulate people. Um, you can get them to talk about things that they don't want to talk about by getting them to talk about something else and reveal to you some aspect of their personality that they was trying to hide that they didn't realize they just revealed to you because you were using metaphors. Experience, like I said, you can use someone's experience against them. You can use your experience to your advantage and you can use it to manipulate. Fiction, such as stories, you know, the way some judges tell, um, tell their opinions and case laws are manipulations because they're fictions, they're not true. It's just a way for them to tell their story. The founders use these fictions in some of their writings. I've seen some of their writings in the um, founding documents. The Bible is full of fictions, or, or some people will say they're not fictions, that they're true. It really doesn't matter if the stories in the Bible are true or not. I think what mattered was whether you got the point, okay? So stories, lies, of course we know, and um, various types of deceptions. So the government, our military has a list of deceptive practices. You can find this online. I'll put a, um, oops, that's again. I'll put a link to it. And it's, I have another video just on this and you can find it um, in a video where you see this cover. It's green, different colors of green. You'll see it, it's right there on the front. Okay, so the fundamentals of manipulation. Functions of military deception causing delay and surprise through ambiguity. So a, a lot of times you'll hear people say that the um, constitution is vague, the words that it uses is vague, the laws are vague. Um, that's ambigu ambiguity, that's ambiguous. Um, whether or not you actually come under those laws, that's ambiguous because there's a lot of very important terms and phrases that they don't define. So um, if in the Constitution, and this is true, representatives, senators, and the president has to be a citizen of the United States, and the judges do not, then what's the difference? There obviously are people who are citizens and obviously are people who are not citizens. So who's who? Okay, I know who's who, and I've talked about that in a video. Causing the enemy to... Okay, so under the first one, causing delay and surprise through ambiguity, confusion, or misunderstanding. Misunderstanding by not knowing who is a citizen and who is not is one way. Not knowing what state they're talking about. Are this, is it the state the federal government created? Or the state that created the federal government? Which is it? Because the federal government cannot control what created it. It can only control what it created. But in the Constitution, they don't distinguish between the two. They just say state. Causing the enemy to misallocate personal, fiscal, and material resources. So money. Um, we don't have a free market in this society. The government is running everything. So if we had a free market, they would not be able to manipulate our money. So they use it by issuing us Federal Reserve notes based on debt, and then therefore they tax us, as you see in one of my short videos that I posted recently where um, the guy says in 1913, there was no 
before 1913, there was no government tax, there was no federal tax, there was only a local tax. After that, when our currency was based on debt, now everything's taxed. So this is why we need to go back to a free market using gold and silver or any currency not created by a government and um, take control of the manipulation of our wealth because that's what happens. They're manipulating who's rich and who's not, who has wealth and who doesn't. And um, when we don't have a free market and we have a government that controls the currency and the printing of the money, you have a manipulation by the government that controls our future and our ability to compete with them. Okay, so competition, our inability to compete. This has to do with this and this and this and this and all of these basically because if we can't compete, we can't get into power. We can't control the money. We can't control our wealth. We can't control our children's future, whether or not they go to a good college. Well, not without a lot of pain and suffering anyway. Um, they manipulate us through emotions so that we can't compete with them, so that we stay afraid and we stay, uh, they stay in control and they keep the power in their own hands. That's a form of manipulation. I'm going to grab a couple books here. I'm going to about something else. Let's see. Individuals, so your politicians, your individual politicians, and then groups like Congress, and then they, they use themselves and their training as politicians and attorneys and lawyers to manipulate. They use often fictions, stories, lies, deceptions, okay? They also use these things. They use their websites. They use games, television, radio, music, pictures. They use all these things to manipulate us to stay in power so that we don't have the ability to compete. Okay, there's a couple books. Family Wealth, Keeping It in the Family, James E. Hughes, Jr., um, also purchased on Amazon and Family Trust. And basically in these books, he's saying that both by James E. Hughes, so if you just search his name on Amazon or wherever you buy your books and you can find him, basically what he's saying in these books is that we don't have the ability to compete because they collect all the wealth and they keep it in their hands through manipulation of the debt currency through the Federal Reserve and the Federal Reserve notes. So banks also manipulate us. They use banks. Okay, and debt. Okay, and that's what he's saying. And that um, if we don't have, if we cannot compete with them, it's easier for them to stay in power. Okay, which allows them to continuously manipulate us. And it's just a circle and, and the more they do it, the more powerful they get, the poorer we become, the more they do it, the po more powerful they get and so on and so forth. And one of those circles is through um, banks, debt, taxes, trusts, and politicians. Um, by using money, to elect certain politicians who will, when trusts are made and they're good for about a hundred years, the hundred year trust, like um, in um, 1913, under the, uh, before the tax laws were created, the wealthy, the wealthy created trusts and their trusts didn't come due for a hundred years. So in 2013 or so, they had to make sure that a politician was going to be put into office who would decrease the tax laws for trusts, trust holders, so that they could get in under the new tax laws, renew their trust, and have their wealth still in their own hands, keeping them wealthy for another 100 years. Okay, so... 
a manipulation tactic by the wealthy, which they keep their wealth, increases their power, increases their ability to put their people in, in, in government, increases their ability to manipulate, decreases your ability to um, accumulate your own wealth and to compete. And it just goes round and round and round and round. And it just gets bigger and the more, the bigger they get, now we have them manipulating technology. So when you go onto a website, nine times out of 10, it tells you that you have to register your country as the United States. The United States is not a country. The United States is an instrumentality of the United States of America, okay? The United States of America are the states that created the United States, which is a corporation, also known as an instrumentality, to do some things, and the things they do is defense, basically, okay? So, carrying on, causing the enemy to reveal strengths, weaknesses, dispositions, and intentions. So, the more strong they are, the more they can figure us out, the more they can retard us through um, lack of education, lack of our ability to own property, because they tax it. And if you can't keep a job because of certain shutdowns and stuff, then you lose your home and the home goes to the bank. Now the bank owns the property, increases the wealth of the bank, which are controlled by the wealthy and the politicians, the wealthy who control the politicians, greatly expanding them even more, okay? And how do they use the judges? The judges tell stories. They tell stories in their opinions, their, their judicial opinions. And um, this guy here, LaRue, I forget his first name. He wrote this book I showed you, Constitutional Law is Fiction. He explains that to us. He explains to us how um, judges write their opinions in such a way that they tell fictions in their stories, but those fictions are hard to spot for the average person because our education is lacking. Okay, because we're so worried about having a job and not getting laid off so we can pay our taxes just so we can keep our property, you know, and then, then they put us in a state of fear. We have no control over our own wealth. You know, we have no money left to give to politicians to get them to go to Congress and um, vote for our rights, you know. So basically when they tell these fictions and they know they tell these fictions, those are lies. Okay, they're deceptions. They push it out through the media, which are owned by wealthy people who just renewed their trust in around 2013, allowing them to keep their wealth, right? So the longer this goes on, the worse it gets for us, us people who aren't millionaires and now billionaires, okay? Causing the enemy to waste combat power and resources with inappropriate and delayed action. So just take combat out, allowing, causing the enemy to waste power and resources with inappropriate and delayed action, okay? I've spent about 10 years studying this stuff. That's 10 years of my life wasted if I can't get people to get up and understand this and do something about it, and they don't mind, they don't care. That's 10 years of my life. They don't care about my life. They only care about theirs and their children's lives. As a matter of fact, let's look at, um, let's look at, uh, wait, let's look at the medicine then. Who can afford to send their kids to um, medical school. Unless their kid's just really smart and get scholarships um, or, you know, they have rich parents, 
then you can't afford to go unless you get loans. What do loans do? <laughs> increases government, increases government power, increases people asking government for a handout. So welfare is a form of government manipulation. If you behave and you vote Democrat or you vote the way I tell you to, you can keep your welfare and that'll increase government, give us more power. We continue to manipulate you, we get bigger. We have more power, we get bigger. Okay, Rockefeller Medicine Men. So it says in here in this book, and this is by Richard Brown. Uh, I think that's F. Richard Brown. Um, that the, the medical industry was a way for uh, wealthy people to create a middle class uh, e. Richard Brown, a middle class who who comprised the children of the wealthy, so that the children of the wealthy could continue being wealthy. Um, back then, it was a middle class, but now some doctors are, you know, they're very they're very wealthy. Okay, what about lawyers? What about lawyers and attorneys? Same thing. These are some of the most wealthiest people there are um, on this planet or were at one point I think now it's more the tech companies and um, people like um, who is it uh, the guy that made Apple and Bill Gates and all them but at one point in time attorneys were some of the wealthiest people and what do you think they send their kids to the wealthy elite colleges and they become attorneys or doctors or whatever they have already a hand up and they raise their children under this system with trust, knowing about the trust and how to uh, manipulate the government to keep your trust going under uh, low taxes, okay? So that they can have money to give to politicians and then politicians can use their power to uh, control the money, use the media to control your emotions. They have various tactics and how to do that. They can do it individually uh, from the pulpit. They can do it, uh, or the, you know, box, whatever they call it, where they stand. They can do it in their groups, like in Congress by passing laws. They can do it in general as a politician. They can use the military the way Lincoln did when he used the military to take over the railroads and then he used the railroads to ship Rockefeller's products into the South. I'm giving Rockefeller a hand up because then Rockefeller became rich because he got, uh, he was able to charge the companies who had the product the same rate or maybe a, a slightly lower, but then he didn't really have to pay that much to have the product shipped because he was in cahoots with um, Lincoln. And, and he used Lincoln and Lincoln used him and um, Rockefeller got rich and now Rockefeller then Rockefeller created the Medical Foundation with his cousin Gates, who he's related through Nelson Rockefeller. And I think it was actually Senior's son, John D. Rockefeller Jr., who um, colluded with Gates. I'm not sure on that though. That might have been Senior. Senior or Junior of John D. used Gates, his cousin, who's related to Bill Gates. Okay, so this is. This is how wealthy families work, okay? So media, and I don't care who the politician is, it doesn't matter. It could be a Democrat, it could be Republican, they're all the same. I've seen some libertarians talk about um, taxes and how they want a flat tax, but if you read the laws, there is no tax for people who aren't on federal lands and don't work for the federal government. That tax is supposed to be for them because they get benefits working for the federal government. And so they pay the tax and so the benefits are equally distributed among them. But now we all pay federal taxes because the politicians have come in and manipulated us and manipulated our education system. And they made it so that, you know, they manipulated the money. Like I said, that guy said before 1913, nobody paid a government tax. It was just a local tax for your schools and your hospitals and such. 
okay? And if you go back to jurisdiction over federal areas within the state, in some of those videos, if you go to video one, it's the video with the blue picture of it. It's a picture of a cover. I explain how the federal officers and employees were on federal lands and they stayed on federal lands, but they wanted to come off federal lands to use local services because they didn't have them on post. And the local court said, no, because you don't pay taxes in our state. And then they went to the state Supreme Court. The state Supreme Court said, no, you don't pay, you don't pay for this. You don't pay local taxes. But then they started contracting and then they started manipulating our money and made, made a currency based on debt and that increased the banks and increased the debt and increased the taxes. Um, they put all their money in a trust because they knew they became the politicians and they just kept going and going, okay? All right, so in light of keeping this video short, I, which is my deep desire to keep them very short, but it's so hard to get all this information out in five or 10 minutes. So here's the video on manipulation. Humans are easily manipulated. Uh, the first thing uh, for me and us regaining our power and our sovereignty is to educate ourselves because that education equals knowledge, okay, in O W knowledge, and knowledge is, of course, we know power. Okay, so I'll put some links. I'll put some links down for y'all, and um, I have maybe one more video today. Like, share, subscribe, and please be calm and be kind to one another.